Hi guys, so before we get started in the video, I do wanna thank Juno Valentino for sponsoring this part of my video, so this portion. Um, Juno Valentino is a line that you can go online to. It's a jewelry line, so you can go to junovalentina.com and they do have jewelry just for women. So if you wanna get jewelry for your mom, your sister, your cousin, your auntie, your grandma, your niece, whoever it may be, they do have some wonderful jewelry there. You have the options of gold, silver, rose gold. They have earrings, necklaces, bracelets, things like that. So I did get some items um, from Juno Valentina and I do have this bracelet here, which is very pretty. So this is the bracelet here. So this is the butterfly necklace that I did purchase. It is pink. Um, so you can get that online. It is very pretty. I do like this necklace. I also do have a bracelet here from them as well. This is very pretty as well. Um, it has like a little string that you can just pull up on there. So that's really pretty. I really do like it. Okay, and then there's a little diamond necklace as well. So that's that. Um, these are plated, of course, but they are good quality. They don't tarnish. Even on the website, you'll see that they don't tarnish or anything like that. So those are the necklaces there. They do have these little cute gold earrings as well. These are really cute. They're not too big or anything like that. I really like those. So these are cute. And there's also a little ring here that I got from them as well. It's a cute little ring. So that's that. And also a gold chain as well. So I like this as well. This reminds me of back in the day, like my old school days. But yeah, I do like this. Some very cute jewelry. Um, I do recommend it. It's pretty nice. Um, I do have a coupon code with them. So if you use Jen's Basic, then you will be receiving 20% discount off the jewelry itself. Um, but yeah, it's very nice. Very good quality. It's cute, you know, so... Yeah, feel free to check it out. Again, Juno Valentino, I do thank you for sponsoring this portion of today's video, and we will go ahead and get started with the makeup tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today, I'm just playing with what's in my collection. So this is nothing new, I'm just playing with makeup in my collection. I have a purple shirt on, so I'm just gonna go and try to create a purple look and see what we can create. So if this is your type of content, feel free, sit back, relax, and we will go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyelids. And I am just using the Believe Beauty Universal Color. So this is the eyeshadow primer that I'm gonna use today. I'm just gonna put that on my eyelids here. I hope everybody is doing well. It is a gloomy day today and it's been raining, so decided I was going to go ahead and film. I'm just getting off work. I hope everybody had a good day today. So I'm just taking my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm just going to blend in my eyelids here. All right, and now that the eyelids are set, I'm just gonna use a transition color and set my eyelids. And I'm just using my Violet Voss Essentials 2 palette. So I'm just gonna use that today and I'm just gonna use the transition color called Clay. So there's the second color right here. I'm gonna use that and set my eyelids. The color blends right on in with my eyelids. All right, so now that the eyelids are set, I am going to go in with my Violet Voss palette. I have another one. Again, this is why I like BoxyCharm, because you get to sample out palettes. So I'm gonna go in with my Violet Voss Sweet Violet palette. I thought this would be perfect due to me wearing purple. And I am just gonna mix some of the shades here. Um, I'm just going to mix a few of these purple shades here and top it off with this shimmer, see what we can create. So, all right. So the first color I'm going to go in with is probably this light shade of purple, and then I'll probably take the darker shade as well. Blend those two together and see. 
Okay, this is very light. You have to really like press into this color to get it to show. And I've been noticing, being that I'm playing with these palettes, I've been noticing that sometimes you just tap the product into your eyelid like that, just tap it in there, and it just, it blends it in better instead of just going back and forth all the time. Do what works for you, it's just what I've noticed here lately. And I guess it could depend on how pigmented the product is too. All right, so I'm gonna just give me another brush and I'm gonna go in with the darker purple here. Oh, this is very pigmented and this matches my shirt perfectly. Perfect. And I don't know what look I'm going for. Again, I'm not going nowhere. I just decided when I got off work that I'm gonna film again. So I was like, why not? I, I'm just doing a glam just to do a glam, so. If there's a look that you guys want me to try and do, let me know, cause I will try. I will try to create it. Like, who do you guys like to watch? Like, what do you guys wanna see? Let me know. Let me know down below. I would love to know. And I'm thinking about taking this lighter purple and this darker purple here, thinking about mixing those together and putting it on my eyelid. Okay, so those colors are not that pigmented. So whenever that happens, if you dip and sprayed and the color isn't showing, that's when you can use your fingers. So I'm just gonna take these two colors here because they seem kind of dry. I'm gonna take these two colors here and just put it upon my eyelid here. So I'm just tapping it in. And I'm kind of going ham in on the colors because I really want to show. And I'm sitting there thinking, do I need to put lashes on or no? 
The color is very pretty. I like that color. I'm going to go ahead and put on some eyeliner. So I'm still using my LA Girl Gel Eyeliner. And I'm going to go ahead and line my eyelids here. I always pull on them. I can't help it. I get more of a defined look pulling on my eyelid. I don't know. That's just me. I know some people are like, you don't need to do that because you're going to wrinkle up. You're going to wrinkle up anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. And remember, there is no rules to makeup. You can do whatever you want putting your beat on. There's no rules to makeup. Do whatever makes you feel happy. If you want to go out there looking all nice and rosy and red and everything like that, and you have a full beat on, then do you. So there's no rules to makeup. Now, if you need a little bit of lesson later on down the road and you come out there looking like a clown, then maybe, you know, you may want to talk to somebody. But in that meantime, go ahead and do you. Do you and make you feel happy. just saying all right so i'm gonna go ahead and take my essence slash princess curl and volume mascara and i'm going to go ahead and coat my eyelashes here before my lashes and i only do one coat now if i was just rocking no lashes at all then i would probably put on a couple coats of mascara here pretty soon i'll do like a 10 minute glam something like that And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes. I'll go ahead and do them on camera today. I usually don't like putting on lashes on camera. I don't know why, but go ahead and put them on. And I'm trying to decide if I want the wispy. Well, they're both wispy, but I don't know if I want the number sixes or if I want the zero ones. I don't know which ones I want. We're gonna go with the zero ones. Why not? It's in purple packaging, so hey, fit right on in. So we'll go ahead and do that. And you know, I don't use no tweezers with my lashes. I don't know. I think that it just makes it more difficult for me, do what works for you. It makes it more difficult for me to put lashes on with tweezers. I know that may sound kind of funny, but I see a lot of people putting on lashes with tweezers. I don't know, I just seem to put them on better with my fingers, so. All right, so I'm taking my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive and I'm gonna go ahead and coat my lash here and then I will coat my eye with the lash glue. And it doesn't take a lot of glue on the eyelashes itself. It just takes a light, you know, light dusting of glue on the lash. So I'm just taking it here and just lightly dusting the glue on there well, it actually look like no particles coming on. My lash glue must be getting low. All right, so there's, I just told you, no, not a lot. Look at me. All right, it's all good. I'm gonna line my eyelid here. And I always put it like, just like where your eyelashes start. So it's not like right here in the corner at the very top. I just go like right here. But I don't do it all the way across on top. like in the corner, I don't do that. So as far as the lashes go, you can like blow on it and let the glue dry. It'll take about 30 seconds, maybe like 30 seconds to one minute. And that glue on my eyelid, it'll dry down here within 30 seconds if that, it'll dry down clear, so. And the reason why I put it on my eyelid is because you have more, it'll last longer. That's what's gonna happen. It's gonna last longer, so. But yeah, you can blow on the lash, let it air dry, 30 to 60 seconds, and you'll be good to go. It's 
So this is how I put on my lashes, you guys. I'm not perfect, but they're on there. See that? It's on there. It is on there. But I'm not a professional with it, but I do aim like towards the middle when putting them on. So it's on there, but yeah, I'm not perfect with it or anything like that. I just put them on there. Now we'll go ahead and do the next eye. It's so funny because I never used to be into lashes and now I actually like them. Now I won't be wearing them every day or anything like that, but if I'm going somewhere, you know, somewhere nice or going out or whatever, then yeah. But on a daily, no, mm -mm, not happening. So again, I'm just going to line my eyelid on the top and I'm going to do my lash again here. Again, do what works for you. If you have a different technique or way to do it, then you continue doing it that way. I'm just doing what works for me. Everybody's different, so everybody does things differently. So do what works for you. And again, it only takes 30 seconds, maybe a minute for it to dry down. And as you can see on this eye, that glue has dried down clear. So that's one thing I love about this. This is a really good uh, lash adhesive. So it's very nice and it's gentle on your eyes. It does not irritate my eyes. Like I just rip, my, not like literally rip them off of my eyes, but like I just peel them off. It doesn't bother me, so. All right, so lashes are on. These are cute, I really like them. So these are So Wispy 06, and these are Kiss. These are very pretty, I like them. All right, so now that the lashes are on, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. I'm gonna spray my face first, and then I'm going to go ahead and put my primer on. So again, this is nothing new. So for today, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Setting Mist here. So I'm just going to spray my face and I'm going to use my pretty little fan. All right. And then I'm going to take my Catrice Poreless Blur Primer. So again, this is a nothing new video, y'all. I know it's the same products. That's why it's called a nothing new video. I have to use pore filling primers, you guys. I cannot use them silicone primers. They don't do well on my face at all. And I have combination to oily skin, so therefore it really brings out my oils and stuff like that. And I feel like a grease ball. Like my foundation just like, seems like it makes it more oily once those silicone primers are on. I'm not with that, so. But yeah, so with the pore filling primers, I was doing some research and you're actually supposed to like literally massage this into your skin really good, like press it in, in order for it to take effect. So I'm just gonna do that here. All right, so the primer has set in for a couple minutes. I am going to set my under eyes first. So I'm going in with an oldie but goodie, which is the e.l.f. Tan Neutral Concealer. So I'm gonna use this today. I don't know, it's kind of pulling off a little bit orange to me. But we'll see, trust the process. 
I'm just gonna let that sit in for a couple moments as well. And then we'll go in with the foundation. The foundation looks like it may be dark too. So this may be a mixed type of thing. But whenever you have like a darker foundation, they do have this thing from LA Girl. It's the Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. So you can use this right here. You just take like a pump or even half a pump with your foundation if it's too dark. So I'll show you. If it's too dark, then I'll show you. But yeah, you just mix them two together and then it'll, you know, make your perfect shade. Okay, so that's been sitting in for a couple minutes. I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with my finger and then I'm going to go in with my foundation on top. I'm just going to blend this in with my finger. I'm really liking this underpainting technique. I forgot the lady's name that I saw doing it, but it really works wonders for me. Um, for you young girls out there that's like in your 20s and 30s. I know you probably set in your uh, concealer after your foundation and everything works for you. But for us older women, well, for me, <laughs> mine works better whenever I do mine first. So do what works for you. You have to just kind of pull off kind of orange. But again, trust the process. See what happens. And it could be these lights too. So because I don't remember it looking this orange. And that looks like a lot of concealer, don't it? Oh, well. All right. So I'm just using this Juvia's Place foundation. Again, I'm in the shade Savannah, which is 440. Let's see how this looks. All right. So this is the color right here. You can see that. It looks a little dark to me. Um, but we'll see. Let's put a little bit more on there. I just want to see. Let me see. Actually, let me just. Mm. It does look a little dark. So I'm going to. Yeah, it does look a little dark. It looks almost like my summer shade. So I'm going to put this pigment on here, what I was just telling you about. And it doesn't take much at all from what I hear. I hear it takes only like a little drop. So I'm gonna try that and see what happens. So I'm just gonna take it. I'm kind of nervous. I hope I don't look too light. Okay, and I'm just doing that. Just a little drop right there. That's all I'm doing. And then you're supposed to mix it around for it to get your perfect shade. So let's see what happens. All right, so we'll see. We'll see. I don't know if I really see a difference, but it may look a little bit lighter. We'll see. Right, so I'm just going to take my foundation brush, dip it in here, and put it on my face. And it looks like Juvia's Place, less is more. Yeah, this is very pigmented. This foundation is full, full coverage. I tell you that. This is my first time trying this Juvia's Place foundation. I really like it. They have some really good reviews too. I always like to take my brush like in the you know, in between your eyes right there at your nose, because I don't like that contrast there. I try to like blend it in as much as possible so you don't look all pale like in between there to where you can tell that you have your foundation on. Not as bad, I mean, you, they're gonna know you have makeup on, but to where it's not as bad and showing. Like sometimes it's white like right here at the corner of your nose or at the tip of your nose. Not at the tip of your nose, but you know what I mean, in between your nose and your eyes. <laughs> all right. So there's that. So I'm just gonna take my finger and blend out that con concealer a little bit more. Now I'm looking at the camera and I'm 
looking right here. So here I look darker. Camera, it could be the lights. I'm looking at my mirror. I mean, it looks okay. It looks like it'd be my summer shade, but it's okay. I'll make it work. It's a pretty foundation though. I really do like it. So I'm using, this looks like it may be a little bit light, but I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer and it doesn't show me what shade it is. Bronzant Paint. So this is the color. It looks a little light for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So I'm just gonna take this brush here. I'm not good with bronze, cream bronzer and stuff, so we'll see. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but we'll see. And this don't even show up on me. So I need a different shade. I'm really dipping into this too, and it's not, it's too light, but it's okay. Next time. It's not even showing up on me. I'm really dipping in there, you see? It's not even showing up on me. So that was a fail. This was a fail. So the bronzer was a fail because I don't have a dark enough shade. All right. It happens sometimes. It's trial and error with makeup. I don't know. I'm looking at this and my face looks dark. But again, maybe it's the lights, but it's okay. It is okay. Now we're going to do the blush and this is in the Believe Beauty and it's called Doll Face. So this is the color here. I think this is going to show up. Surely to goodness. Let's see here. All right, I'm gonna take the same brush. I'm just gonna dip it in here and we'll see what happens with the cream blush. Oh yeah, that's definitely pigmented and that's definitely, you see that? Mm -hmm. It's really showing up. Lord have mercy, I put too much on. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. So, I put way too much on with a little ham with that. And what I said earlier, there's no rules to make it, but I'm not trying to be going out here looking like that. So we're gonna have to blend it down some. Lord, blend it down, girlfriend. It's a pretty color though, I do like that. Blend it down. So whenever you have product like that, that's really pigmented and stuff, just blend it down with your foundation brush. You don't have to put more foundation on there, but just blend it down with your foundation brush and boom. Now this side looks worse than that side. So that's all tamed and stuff like that. This is just still, but it's a pretty color. It's a light pink mauve color. So I like that. Ooh, that's too much. Mm -mm. Trial and error with makeup, y'all. Trial and error. Still cute. Man, why does my face look so shiny? You see what I'm talking about? My face looks shiny. Some of these products may have some stuff in it that makes your face look shiny because I'm like really glowing right now. Really, really glowing, but it's all good. Okay. So I'm gonna blend out this concealer and then we're gonna set the under eyes. I'm gonna set my face too. So I'm just taking the Airspun Translucent Powder. This is an OG, I like this. This stuff is really good. All right, so I'm just gonna take my finger and blend out the concealer. I think it sat under my eyes long enough my Real Technique Setting Powder Brush, and I'm just gonna blend out the under eye here. And I just love the transformation that powder gives you doing that. So now, I'm about to set my face with the same powder, tapping off the excess with the whole face.
Oh man, that looks so much better. See, I'm more of a matte type of person. Not matte, matte, like stuck to my face type, but I don't like that oily look just because my skin is combination and oily. I don't want oil on my face or my face to look oily like that. So this soft matte look is what suits me, but I know some females like that glowy look, which is fine too. I just want my glow to peek in after a while. All right, so now we're gonna do regular bronzer, blush, and highlight. So I am going to use my Physician's Formula Bronzer, and this one is in Deep Bronzer. And we're gonna use this Flower Beauty brush. I need to clean my brushes, don't judge me. Now we're about to do some blush. And today I'm using the Believe Beauty blush. So I'm using this dark red color here, burgundy type of color there. So I'm just gonna take this little brush here, dip it in there, tap off the excess, and just put that on my cheeks. All right, so that's a really pretty color. I like that. All right, highlighter time. Now for my highlighter, I'm going old school with it again. We're doing the Huda Beauty palette. I think I actually pronounced it right this time. But we're gonna go in with this color here. I'm gonna do this color here and see what happens. We're just gonna look all purpley today. That's what we're gonna look like. hair got some makeup in it. Mm, no, I want something brighter. So I'm going to go back into this and I'm going to use, let's brighten it up a little bit. I'm going to go in with this top color here. Oh no, I like, I guess on my skin tone, I like the more brightening highlights. I think it sits better. Okay, I need to stop because I'm going to look like the clown. I just said there's no rules to makeup. So there's that. And again, I always like bringing this up above my brow bone. And there's that. So I like that shine. I have extra on because we were on camera, but I wanted you to see it. So there's that. But I'm gonna use this lip liner. It is uh, LA Girl Shockwave Neon Lip Liner. But this one, what color is this in? Blaze. So we're gonna go in with Blaze. I just glad mess up all your stuff, Jennifer. All right. We're gonna go in with Blaze. I'm gonna line my lower lash line with Blaze. But being that, you know, it says purple and it's a gel eyeliner or it's a gel lip liner, it's not gonna, you know, mess with your eye because it's a gel. So that's a good thing. Okay, so we're gonna line the lower lash lines and we're almost finished guys, I promise. We are almost finished with this long drug out video. Okay, and if you stuck around, I thank you. Thank you for sticking around and thank you for watching. I'm gonna take the purple and pink color and line my lower lash line. I'm going to put on my mascara again for the bottom lash line. I am going to line my lips, put on my lipstick, and that'll be about done with this video. I'm trying to decide which lip liner I want to go in with. 
They look very similar. I have one that is the Elf, was this De La Ve? I can't pronounce these words. It's a gel lip liner. And then I have this one from Kiss, which is in dark brown. Mm, let's see. All right, so there's that. I went ahead and with the e.l.f. one. So we did that. And then I'm taking this e.l.f. lipstick. This one is in Sugar Plum. How cute is that? And look at this color, guys. It matches my shirt. I like this. This is cute. So I'm going to put that on. I'm all purpled out. All right. So now I'm just going to set my face with my powder. And we will be done, guys. All right. So I'm taking my Wet n Wild powder, pressed powder. This is in medium pan. And I'm just going to apply this on my face to kill some of this shine. Your girl does not like shine, not too much. All right, so this is the last step. See, I'm doing my brows last because I use all them powders and stuff. So I'm doing my brows last. I haven't done my brows in a minute, so hey. I need to do my eyebrows. They're getting out of control. All right, guys, this completes the look. We are finished. I know it was a long drug out video. I thank you so much for sticking with me. But hey, makeup is a process and it takes a while to get cute for everybody that don't know that. So, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I will have more content loading. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, stay blessed.